I think this is like my 10th time recording this video, may I be honest. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I have been so busy over the last couple of weeks. I wanted to get my equipment for YouTube in Jamaica. And then another thing I wanted was that I needed some time because I'm being busy. I'm busy, 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 busy. Today I got some time. If I can say my hair do, my makeup do. However, me don't need work. So yeah, I'm back in office. That's the beauty about this and that's like a big update i have to like leave a whole story time for that so i'm back in the office working in office no longer working remotely i don't think i'm interested in a remote post right now because i want some level of stability that remote jobs do not provide i'll be in office for a while because i like my job i plan to leave it and the next thing too boy i'm busy like school start back everything start back i just do all the time i don't even know how many videos i can give you guys a week time if i can give you guys any videos in the week but today i just want to talk to you about resume and i think one of the things reason i want to talk to you about resume is that you guys are so interested in finding work from home jobs in finding remote work in finding high paying jobs outside of a call center increasing your side hustle and all of that but when you don't know how to apply for these jobs even if you don't want it and apply for it you don't never get it the resume don't up to par when i have to do better i am tired of getting resumes to review and me see the same mistakes like number one is a one resume for apply for multiple jobs no you cannot do that you cannot have one general resume applying for all lot of jobs it no makes sense it no makes sense it don't make sense it do not make sense mm. no you cannot do that if say for example you work at a call center and you're trying to leave that industry and you say all right me just gotta apply for any corporate job missy you can't use the same call center resume it no matter if it's only call center experience you have you cannot use that to apply for all these different um vacancies out there in the corporate world you cannot do it you can't do it unless you're applying for the same post where you were an agent in a call center and you're applying for a customer service or agent a call center agent post you cannot use the same general resume it no make sense let me give you an example how is it that you say you're a customer service representative you take calls you have a call center resume and then you want to go into marketing like full-on marketing and attack sales work work, work on a sales account and not like that you are going to like marketing maybe social media marketing you have to fix that call center resume to fit the job requirements for a social media marketer there is no way you're gonna have you took x amount of calls you did this this that 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 and you say i right, make can use this as a social media marketer no them don't want to see that and you probably have to have a portfolio for social media marketing but they don't them don't want to see that and i will get the job you have to tailor your resume to fit all the job application it no matter if you apply for 500 jobs you have to tailor 500 different resumes and not really 500 but yeah well you can do a group the job them a specific category and have a resume for each category i do that to save time but you have to tailor your resume and if you take 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes per resume you have to spend the time and you have to do it if you really want a job another thing that my notice on alice all sorts of skills found on resume and none of them don't make sense it goes in hand with just using your one general resume to apply for every job you cannot be listing irrelevant skills on your resumes and i would say any skill is irrelevant but irrelevant to the job that you're applying for example would be you used to be a store clerk and you're applying for a call center agent position your some of the skills you made up put on it would be like maybe you know how to use a cash register or a point of sale system and stuff like that you have to kind of take them off and put other like soft skills that will more relate to the call center position that you're applying for soft skills would be you can put your empathy i think it's only empathy i know right now but um you can put that you're organized you're a team player 
they like to take initiative stuff like that those things you can put on a call center resume but this is just an example guys if you want more details you can reach out to me and i'll assist you i do that you have to kind of just include skills that fit the role that you're applying for so you're a receptionist and you're trying to move maybe going to hr you have to try um either look for skills that you could transfer from your receptionist role to your hr role that you're looking to go to or learn some different skills read the research understand certain things more and then you can add them to your resume another thing i noticed that a lot of people do is outdate or missing contact information or <laughs> not even some missing contact information but unprofessional contact information like your email address you have to use have a professional email nobody wants to see sexy k1993 at gmail.com me will if i was an employer i would not send that person an email asking them to come for an interview i'm sorry you have to have a professional email address and you have to have a phone number that's working a thing i've noticed is that if the business place are calling upon like a private number because they have maybe some beef or some issues with unknown numbers they're not answering or if you don't know the number which don't make sense that don't make sense you don't answer the phone like if a number call it that you don't know you don't answer the phone you don't know what can, who not hide from who not hiding from why you don't answer the phone even if it's a regular cell number call it and you don't recognize the number answer the phone people have cugs that they they call people on to tell them hey we're inviting you for an interview and everybody use office phone anymore this is 2022 some companies call it from a private number especially call centers they love calling upon the private number them and they love calling upon the cug them because they don't want you call them back answer the phone put a phone number that's working people 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 please put a phone number that's working there is no way in hell you have a phone it now work so good and you're gonna put that phone number you don't you don't have to put your phone number you can put your mother phone number you can put your child phone number you can put your spouse phone number you can put your sister phone number you can put even your current workplace phone number if i you are answer the phone put a working phone number that the people can reach in upon and i have a professional email address like me see it so much time people are saying you know say one number did i call you know oh me never get for answer and you know my phone that if i work so good my phone didn't lock off all day kind of battery get problem if you see a free side for you me not do it i'm sorry another thing even sometimes even me struggle with it is grammatical error. and me can't blame you for that but yeah, there's a way you can really fix this is by using grammarly i'm gonna put a link to grammarly in my description it is free for the most part but it it helps you with like basic grammatical errors but like them like restructuring your sentences and stuff like that you have to go pay for that at one time but other than that for like the basic stuff for no way for you use unrelated work experience to your resume as i mentioned earlier you have to t i instead of you and stuff like that people <laughs> people just yeah basic grammatical errors it helps with correcting that if your english is not so strong and you cannot afford to pay somebody to write your resume professionally you have to use grammarly it helps a lot um another thing you need to do is to proofread your resumes to make sure that you are not unintentionally sending off like resumes with grammatical error i i am guilty of that well i used to be guilty of that back in the day i would just say no any resume any job full of grammatical errors and they may wonder why me can't get called it's not that jamaica is short of jobs it's just that sometimes are you are the reason why you're doing that you're not gonna work another thing i notice is that people are adding me nearly kick over kick it over to god if you see me about pan camera today because this costs my money another thing is that you're providing you're adding a lot of unrelated work experience let me give you an example they used to work at a call center all their life you work at a call center you have like three plus years of call center experience as agents not managers and you're looking to apply for maybe 
a managerial post in a business somebody private business that's not a call center you're looking to apply for some managerial post maybe like a supervisor role or something like that i you never held um a supervisory post at the call center no what you can do to minimize this is not to list all of your call center work experience what you can do list the more relevant ones if you know you used to work at a call center and most of these jobs they call the place for references so don't lie if you know you used to work at a call center and you weren't really like an sme or they call him team leader and stuff like that but you used to help out a lot like people used to call you for help have like have people shadow you and stuff you know what you were doing so like you would have new agents shadow you you would have give them tips and tricks. you can add that to your resume and it helps but unrelated work experience would for me in that sense would be like you worked at sutherland for the, the training period which would probably be like three weeks to three months so you're only there for like three weeks <laughs> jump go and next call center for another two months so add them the pay resume just add the one that you, you spent six months and above and that's in the event that you've never held a supervisor role let's twist it now you worked at a call center or several call centers and you've had managerial positions you've had like roles in team lead sme and all of them good stuff there and you're applying for a supervisor role in the cor in a corporate business what you can do you can use only your managerial experience at the call center to apply for that job you don't need to include your agent, agent role it helps sometimes but most times they don't care they just want to see how effective you are at managing a team or how effective you are at managing other people or that whole department or whatever you did apply for you have to kind of just include the work experience that is relevant to the job that you're applying to nobody wants to see that you've worked at mcdonald's on a j1 visa unless you have no other experience and you just want to put your work somewhere already then maybe you can fix that up a bit but if you go on j1 for two three years and you have all that experience plus whatsoever you're working at jamaica you don't need to include the j1 experience nobody cares frankly nobody business another thing is that you're not giving too you're not you're giving too much details or you're not giving enough details on your resume if you come to me to say case you fix my resume and i ask you certain questions that you can't answer me and then your resume look like say all right it's half a page why your resume is half a page me can't work miracles that are one two if you've had too much in experiences like um 10 years ago and stuff like that you're adding all of that that's too much details your resume are three four page nobody not gonna read that me don't even want to read two pages you have to fix your resume where you have a minimum of a one page at least two page the most and two pages if you have like over three plus years of work experience anything under three years you can just fit it on one page guys i'm gonna cut this video short because i'm continuing i'm just gonna start vent and because talking about these things that come across like i bring back certain trauma to me but if you notice your girl camera quality is up lighting is better and audio should be better it should be better because i'm using the microphone so i had to be go m.i.a to sort this out and i'm super super busy i will give you guys a story time don't worry about it and don't forget to like share and subscribe i don't know why i'm talking like this but 